Buhari's wife is the biggest hypocrite in Asso Rock Villa right now. When we were kids, our parents used to preach about table manners and the most important table manners they always taught us was don't talk while you are eating. Well, it seems like the people in the present day Nigerian government took the table manners so seriously that they now apply it in governance. Let me explain. Do you remember Festus Keyamo? Once upon a time, he used to be one of the most vocal critics of government policies. But currently, he is one of Buhari's ministers. Despite being a senior advocate of Nigeria, Festus Keyamo has now become a puppet who defends Buhari even when he desecrates the judiciary. He finds excuses for this autocracy. The, name, the same principle of don't talk while eating also applies to Femi Adeshino. Mr. Adeshino was on the side of the masses when he used to be a renowned journalist. But now he is a spokesperson of a president who has no regard for human rights and the rule of law. Femi Adeshino, just like Oshio Mole and many other hypocrites who used to be government critics, are currently eating on the table of the federal government hence they can no longer talk so they are actually the people that learned the rules of not speaking up not talking when you are eating well among all the hypocrites running around in Nassau Rock the president's wife Aisha Buhari leads the park a few months before the last election Mrs. Buhari was very vocal on social media and the press. She condemned so many government policies and hinted that she might not even support her husband during the second term campaign. But at the end of the day, she joined the campaign train, urging Nigerians to vote for Buhari and APC, even though she had claimed that the presidency had been hijacked by some unknown elements that were called the cabal. On October 7, 2018, the president's wife also questioned the integrity of the APC primaries. She also kicked against the practice of giving incumbent candidates a husband inclusive automatic tickets. On so many occasions, Mrs. Buhari presented herself as one who is on the side of the masses. She paraded herself as an ordinary Nigerian who would lead a protest against the government. However, but her hypocrisy became very glaring on November 14, 2019, when she begged the people of Kogi State to forgive Governor Yahya Bello and vote him in for a second term. Despite the fact that he had not paid civil servants salaries for so many months. Recently, also, Aisha Buhari shamelessly defended the social media regulation bill which seeks to gag social media. This single action is what qualifies her as the biggest hypocrite in Asso Rock. How could she defend such a devilish bill despite the fact that she herself comes to social media to vent her frustrations? especially when the cabal in Asso Rock starts riding over her and maybe reminding her that the president had on the day of his inauguration promised Nigerians that there will be no office of the first lady. Anyway, why are we discussing this? Currently, Mrs. Buhari is wailing that her husband's nephew, Maman Daura, is overstepping his boundaries and giving presidential orders without the president's knowledge. She has come out to complain on the social media space that she wants the government to gag. Nigerians have taken to social media to blast her for hypocrisy and also her inconsistency. So I'm going to quickly run through some of the tweets. Here, small injustice melted out on Aisha Buhari in Asoro. She will run to social media to cry. But when she is advocating for tighter social media regulations, Eskizma, you don't deserve our sympathy audience. You deserve the likes of Mama Daura, Garba Shewu, and others. 
Aisha Buari should leave the media out of her power tussle with Mama Ndaura and Garba Shewu. Nobody is buying a Fox patriotism anymore. Yes, someone say Aisha should go and sit down in the kitchen, I beg. She wants to ride on the very same social media outrage that she and her husband want to stifle. Fraudulent wife of a gap tooted fraud. First Lady Aisha Buhari has alleged that Alaji Mamandaura gave a presidential directive without her husband's knowledge. And I wonder what the president wants to do about that. I guess nothing. Aisha Buhari, after supporting social media bill, comes to the same social media to cry wolf about Mamandaura and Garba Shew. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. So, guys, you can see a lot of reactions from Nigerians there. Now, we have a confirmation that there are strange forces behind the throne of Nigeria. If this is not the height of hypocrisy, then tell me what it is. Anyways, let all grab our popcorn and watch the drama unfold. That is what it is. Let us see how they will turn out the drama in Asorok Villa since they want to stifle everything. As they said that she is now the greatest hypocrite. She has decided to turn to embrace the oppressors that she once screamed about. That is what it is for now. If you're not a member of this channel, you can be a part of this. It's free by simply tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell. This will automatically make you a member and the red notification icon bell will simply alert you whenever our videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by. <music>